this is a, a Muslim cemetery in Sarajevo. And, and, and apparently the, the, the way the tombstones are configured, each tombstone you could sort of learn a person's status just by the stone. So tail end of um, shooting the Justice League movie, for which um, you know one of the main guys, one of the main people that I trained for that was Jason Momoa for the Aquaman role, and that's him. And, and this scene just happened. Mostly I'm ready, and I can see what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. And when I saw this with the wind and walking, I just thought, okay, here's a, a, a story in a single image. Joining Michael and I in the studio today, Mr. Casey McKelvin. Podcasting is a, somewhat of a, a trigger phrase, depending on someone's perspective, but all it is is a distribution method. Yes. It, it, what we're doing is conversing mm -hmm. and sharing ideas, and the podcast is how you're distributing those conversations. So it's funny to me that, that some people hate on podcasts or the idea of a podcast, I'm like, really? You you hate sharing ideas and you hate having meaningful conversations with people? Oh. Just in that medium, <laughs> they hate that. Right, right. They, they think they don't like it. My philosophy is everyone loves podcasts, they just haven't found their right one, maybe. And it's this wonderful excuse to basically walk up to a stranger who likely has some level of success and say, hey, we have an hour to get to know each other really well. Let's go. And all of the inhibitions that typically are associated with meeting someone for the first time just go out the window yeah. for whatever reason. So for that reason, it's really fun. But How do you choose your guests? I mean, obviously they're like high performance in most cases, but some of the best advice I got, I, I think, is don't worry, and this is podcasting or anytime you're creating something, try not to worry too much about who you think your audience is or what you think your audience wants. Mm. Focus on what you want to do, what you want to know, what you want to learn. That's the only way that it's going to be genuine. You all have but, been doing this longer than I have, but some of the, I'd be curious to hear whether you've come to, it sounds like we have some similar conclusions. A, I think the less I say, the more successful it is often. Ah, yeah. um, two, I'm going, I'm being that person. A, two, C. <laughs> I do write down notes but the sooner my notebook closes, the better. And also, uh, generally speaking, that person is known for a thing. The less we talk about that thing, the better. These are things that'll add to your list. Um, yes, please. Late at night tends to be better. Yes. The podcast I did last night, checked all the boxes. Okay. okay. We went to a rosé party. <laughs> <laughs> we went to a rosé party. And we were like, were they playing bull? <laughs> also, no, no, no French no, ball. No, no, no. I appreciate your point about making assumptions, though, because that is also one of the things that I've learned most through podcasting. Mm -hmm. Is especially when the, when the guest is high profile and there's a lot of material on them, yeah. you'll think that you have a pretty good grasp of who they are. They're always different.